Hey guys, in today's video we're going to talk about models and before we get to that we're going to talk about entity relationship diagrams which you could call ERD diagrams and what an entity relationship diagram is it's, it is pretty much the blueprint of what your database will look like. So inside your database you have all these things called tables and in this diagram that is represented by this little big rectangle. So this this entire rectangle here with the heading of or contact that is what we call a table and inside a table you would have things called attributes and attributes are the bits of information that you really want to save when your user interacts with your app so let's say that a person wants to save their first name and last name well they would you would find those that information in the org persons table under the attributes first name or last name so if you want to plug in your name John Smith and and really save that then it would go into this org person table under the attributes uh, under the attributes first name for for John and Smith for last name so that's a little bit about ERD diagrams that's really how people architect their entire database usually so it's something that you should really know if you're going to start out any big projects. Now, let's get to the meat of this video. And the meat of this video is to talk about models. Now, a model is something that talks to your database. If you watched the last video, then I have kind of went through that with you briefly. So when you as a person wants to find out, oh, how many chicken legs are there in, in the database, then a model would be used to do that, to find out how many chicken legs are saved into your database. And how you generate a model is you do that by doing by doing Rails generate model. And we're going to use or company because one of our tables is or company. So you find the or company table here. So we're going to generate that or company table. Notice that our, our word here is singular and not plural. As I said before, models you should use a singular name, but for controllers you should use a plural name. So that's why we use singular. And if we press enter, what we'll generate is we'll generate the files for models and migrations. So you can see here that a migration file has been generated and we'll talk about that in the next video. But we really made a, a file for models and a, another testing testings, testing file for testing. But we won't talk about the testing now because it's a really big to topic by itself. So if you go under models, you could see that org company has been generated. And going back to our ERD diagram, you can see that org company is connected to several other tables. It's connected to the org persons table, it's connected to the org contacts table through this through this um, intermediate table called the org company contact, and it's connected to the org products table. And what we want to do is we want to replicate this connection in our model. So we're going to talk more about um, more about these these relationships in the next video but I'm just gonna type out these relationships that I want to represent and we'll explain them in another video because I want to keep this video short but it's connected to to our contacts so we'll have to have an association for that and we're gonna use something called has belongs to many or contacts and don't worry if you don't know what this means I'll explain it in another video and it's also connected to the org persons table. So you will use has many for that org persons. And it also has another has many called org products because it's connected to the org's products table. And finally, I think it's connected to one more table, the type of fee table. Right, so right now that's all we're gonna type up right now. I just want to keep the focus on these three tables or person or contacts and or products. Anyways, that's all I want to talk about today. I just want to give you a brief explanation on ERD diagrams and a little bit about generating models. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter.